Offset smokers, what is the best way to add wood during my cook? Welcome back to the channel guys. My name's Kevin and today we're going over the question I get asked all the time. How do I add wood to make it the most efficient possible? Meaning I don't want a lot of white, puffy, bad smoke. So we're gonna go over the five best things you can do to make sure you have better success. Before we get started, I want you to click on that subscribe button because we have a lot of awesome things coming up on this channel and I wanna make sure you're aware of them, especially if you wanna enhance your backyard offset smoker game. A lot of people, once they put the meat in the main chamber here, they get very concerned about putting new wood into their offset. And the reason is normally when you put a new piece of wood, you get heavier smoke. And for a lot of people, that stresses them out. I get it, it stresses me out too. I don't want bad smoke going over my proteins. I just don't want it happen. So today we're gonna go over exactly the best things you can do to reduce that probability. Okay, first things first, let's de-stress over putting wood on our smoker. This is your backyard, this is supposed to be a enjoyable backyard experience but don't wind yourself up into a ball am I doing it right is this perfect enjoy it all right it's a learning curve it's a learning process so don't get so worked up it's your backyard enjoy it I have friends that walk up to their smoker throw a piece of wood or two in and they just walk away and they're like it will work itself out and guess what their food is delicious so I shouldn't stress myself out by throwing in a piece of wood and then, ooh, that first one to five minutes, there's way too much smoke going on there. It's gonna work itself out. We don't wanna get worked up over that small one to five minutes. Now, if 20 minutes go by and heavy smoke is billowing out, that's where your food's gonna really start to taste bitter. And that's what we want to avoid. But let's get right to these five tips so you can get that quick combustion to get better smoke. Right off the bat, wood selection. This can have a major impact on how your wood is about to burn in your offset smoker. So for example, I believe, now this isn't science, but I believe the first three to five hours, that's where you're getting 99% of your smoke flavor. All right, so in those first three hours, I wanna go through my wood and choose the best wood possible for that smoke. So this piece is completely clean. It's not too heavy. There's a little weight to it, but it should burn pretty quickly and pretty clean. And that's the smoke I want on my meat for those first couple hours. This piece is a little bit heavier. It's still got its bark on. The bark isn't knocking off easily. So that means it's still pretty wet. It's gonna produce a heavier smoke. This is a piece of wood I want to save until I wrap it in tin foil or I wrap it in butcher's paper. I don't want to use this in the first couple hours. Tip two, preparing your wood for the coals. All right, so before I just throw these right on the coals, if I'm worried they're not going to ignite right away, there's a couple things I can do. One, I can put it on top of the firebox. If you have the right type of firebox that it won't catch on fire, but this will preheat that wood. So when you put it on the coals, it's going to combust a lot faster. And that's what you're looking for. The second thing you can do, if you have a big enough firebox and your coals are on one side, you can put your piece of wood on the opposite side so that it starts to heat up. So the same concept happens. As soon as you transition that onto the coals, boom your fire is going to ignite and you're gonna have less puffy white smoke. Tip number three, when you put that piece of wood in, don't panic. Expect the first one to five minutes, you might get a little bit heavier smoke as that piece of wood ignites. Don't trip yourself up and start opening up lids trying to air it out because then you're letting all that heat escape your main cooking chamber. That's probably counterintuitive 
of what you're trying to do. You're gonna be okay if you get one to five minutes every 45 minutes, every hour of heavier smoke across your food. It's not going to ruin your dish. Now, if you have the full 45 minutes, full hour of heavy, dark smoke, your food is going to taste like you're chewing on bark. Tip number four for us offset backyard barbecue warriors. If you see a lot of heavy, dark smoke and it smells a little off, you know what I'm talking about. You can, you can get a whiff of it and you can smell it, all right? You can open up your main firebox to kind of help that fire along, get that dark smoke out of there, that bad smoke, and help your fire along, all right? It'll also give you an idea to play around with your fire, to get that thing going a lot quicker. Now, this is not ideal. You don't see competition barbecue men and women opening up their lids to let out dark smoke because they're lining up step one and step two, wood selection and preparing that piece of wood before it goes on so they have a better chance of having less bad smoke and better tasting barbecue. So as much as possible, try to line up step one and two so you don't have to open up lids to try to get bad smoke out of the way. Before we get into our final tip, all right, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and click that thumbs up button. I wanna make sure that we're on the same page getting to become better at the backyard barbecue offset smoker together. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. The final tip, tip number five, practice, practice, practice. I see this all the time in our Kingsford Stockade 49 inch smoker and griller Facebook group, which you should join. All right, people buy a brand new offset smoker and they go and they give it a try their first weekend. And they're so amped up and they do it and they do a great job or they do a, an okay job. All right. Then they go for round two. Well, guess what? Round two was a month later. Round three, another month later. There are so many variables to an offset smoker. All right, the wind direction, how your wood is burning, so many variables. This isn't something that you just wanna put a blindfold on and hope it goes well. There's so many of us that are addicted to this. We wanna make the best food possible with an offset smoker because we understand it is an art. All right, and we wanna crush that goal of being an awesome backyard barbecue smoker. So you have to practice, practice, practice. Even if you're not cooking food, sometimes personally, I just like playing with the offset and building a fire and seeing what temperatures I can get for a different amount of time. All right. You want to chase that rabbit, right? You want to go after that goal and you want to become the best at this. So you have to practice. Obviously, like anything in life, if you continue to practice, you're gonna be able to pick up a piece of wood. You're gonna say, this thing's been sitting for about eight to nine months. This thing's been sitting for 12 months. You're gonna know, you're gonna to start to feel how this is gonna combust right when you put it on the charcoal. That's the level we're all trying to achieve, right? We watch the Netflix shows, we watch all this stuff and we wanna be that good. Well, you can't be that good once a month. You gotta get out there and you gotta practice. You gotta to wanna to be better. I know you guys want this. So you gotta get out there and you gotta make it happen yourself. Today I wanna leave you with this other playlist right up here to enhance your barbecue game, Smoker 101. This is the stuff you gotta get down, the fundamentals. So you can watch that video right here and one of my other favorite videos right here. As always, you guys have been great and I'll see you soon.